just want to come on back here and take a seat at the computer. Okay. Psychology student Amanda Chodak is a little stressed out with typical end of semester workload. As a participant in a new study, it's key that researchers measure exactly how much anxiety she's feeling. So we can measure anxiety right before and right after the experience to see if the experience is lowering the anxiety that they're feeling. The experience? Virtual reality. With special goggles, Chodak will leave her cares and the winter behind and while still standing in a room at Mount Royal University, visit Zuma Beach in California. I see people laying on a blanket and there's other people standing with balloons. What you can't experience by watching two-dimensional television is how real the 3D virtual reality is. It's not like you're watching a scene at the beach, you're in the middle of it. And you can hear the seagulls. Here's the theory. The more present you are in your virtual reality environment, the less present you'll be in a place that's causing you stress. The study will measure to what extent virtual reality environments can lower anxiety in people. Chaston's ultimate vision for VR technology is to help people who are ill or infirmed. But we'd like to take this to uh, patient populations, hospital scenarios. You know, imagine you've got um, a kid in a hospital who's stuck in hospital for a month. Wouldn't it be great if we could have him go on a little uh, hour-long African safari or something like that, where he could take pictures of that environment while he's in there, post those to his Facebook his Facebook site, share that with his friends. There's much more data to collect before the team will be able to conclude how effectively VR reduces anxiety. Anecdotally? Yes, I did. Yeah, I definitely felt that after I was in the like serene environment of the beaches and like with the waves coming in, totally felt that any stress I had is now gone. A very good sign about the potential anxiety reducing powers of a quick trip to the beach. And everyone's walking along the beach and I can hear the ocean. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary. And it's just beautiful.